Chameleons, it's Camille, and today I'm going to transform into Ariana Grande. So I've kind of wanted to do this for a while because a lot of people tell me that I look like her at this angle depending on what makeup I'm wearing and because I got this ponytail that is very Ari, so I was like, you know what? Let me do a transformation using the ponytail, this angle, and I'll do the makeup to look like her and see how close I can get to looking like her. So that's what we're gonna do today. I dyed this ponytail myself. I have a video showing how I did it. It's synthetic hair, so it was kind of difficult to dye because you can't use hair dye, so I dyed it to match my green hair. So you can do that in case you have an irregular hair color and you want to get a ponytail. I also have a video showing how I installed it without using any heat. And I watched this video about her that was a lot about her and her ponytail, and they showed which ponytail to get that either was the exact one she used or like a very similar one she used or whatever. So I bought that, that's what this one is. So that's step one is get your ponytail. So I guess step two would be to find an exact picture that you wanna emulate. So I found this photo of her from the 2020 Grammys that I really like and that I think was at the right angle. I had to find a picture of her at this angle cause that's the angle that we look more similar at. So I looked at a bunch of photos and that's definitely the one so I decided that I'm going to do that. Obviously I have green hair, so it's not gonna be exactly like that. And you can see that she has a little bit of a bang right there, but you can hardly see that at all. And I don't have bangs, so we're just gonna ignore that. Um, <laughs> so next I found a shirt that was as close to what she had as possible. I don't have that extensive of a wardrobe that I could really copy it, but I figured that this part is kind of like the same height and then I could put the sleeves down so I could have like a similar silhouette to the shirt. So that's close enough. She's also not wearing any jewelry, so I took off all my necklaces and unfortunately I'm gonna have to take off my choker. If you haven't noticed, I added a cute little golden locket to it. I think that's just so cute and a nice way to spice up my old choker. So I hate doing this because it's like so tight in my head and then getting it back on is so annoying too. And it usually messes up my hair when it's down and curly, but I guess this was easier than usual. There we go. So next is face makeup. As you can tell, she's very contoured and she also has a lot of highlight. So I just did a blank face for my canvas right now and I'm gonna go in with my highlight and my contour. For my highlight, I'm using the Tarte Double Duty Beauty Shape Tape, everyone's favorite. And this is in the color Medium Sand. And when I got this, it was really light. So I still, like I'd already used it, so I kept it. But when I put on my regular foundation and then I do little dabs of this on top, it kind of works rather than if I just tried to do this on its own or did this first and then put on my makeup, it doesn't work. So I already did my regular foundation and I'm just gonna add little bits of that into a triangle shape. These highlights are a little bit too highlighted, so I'm just gonna use a little bit of foundation and just add that to the back of my beauty blender and just blend it in a little bit so it's not too white. So I think that's better. It's just a tiny bit more blended. And then my contour that I have is my Clinique Chubby Stick and that's in 01 Curvy Contour. And this has just been kind of a staple in my makeup kit for a long time. And it's pretty easy to use. It goes on really smoothly and it's easy to blend out. She has a really strong cheekbone contour, a little forehead and a solid amount of jaw. So that's what I'm doing. And I can use my beauty blender for both of these. So it's very simple and easy to do that. I'm just a little bit worried about the contour because she does it so dark and it's kind of hard to make it blend when it's super dark. Okay, I think this is as much contour as I can do. It doesn't look that great, but in this picture, hers is really dark. Gonna add a little powder over everything to smooth out my skin and to set all of the liquid products. It looks like she has a dark, warm, kind of orangey blush. So I'm gonna use my Note Blush in Desert Rose. 
So that was a lot and I also want to make it darker so I'm going to go in with a powder contour. I'm using Buxom's Maldives. I'm just going to put that over my contour to emphasize the contour and to darken the blush a little bit. Eyebrows are going to be hard because I don't have the same shape and I have more hair but I'm not going to pluck it just for this tutorial. So I'm going to just try and fill it in as best as I can. Her eyebrows are done pretty sharp. There's not really a bunch of excess hair around like mine, um, but I'm just going to ignore that and make it kind of the same shape, pointy at the end and boxy on the inside. She doesn't really seem to have highlight on, so I'm going to skip that, and now I'm going to do eyeshadow. So I have a few palettes that have warm tone shades that I'm gonna try out and see if I can get that same like little bit of an orange flick that I'm gonna flare outwards and and I think it's just a pretty simple like single color maybe faded in a little bit with a softer color I ended up using my morphe happy hour 15 H eyeshadow palette and for the orange I used bottoms up and for the inner color that fades into the orange I used on the rocks next is liner so I'm going in with a black eyeliner and I'm going to completely line my waterline my top waterline and all the way to the inner tear duct and I'm going to figure out that outer wing shape a little bit before I go in with my liquid liner so the last two things I need are some liner and lashes so I'm using my liquid liner from the balm and I'm doing a short little wing kind of upturned she usually has upturned eyeliner and then I'm using these lashes that are pretty full and kind of wing out a little bit at the ends that I think are pretty similar to hers. So these are a bit too dramatic but it's too late. I like them but it's close enough. Lastly I have lips and I don't have that exact shade but I have all of these lip products that I looked through and swatched and what I've decided is the best method of going about this is using my Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Lip Pencil in Conspiracy, which is a nice dark that's good for outlining the lips and getting the nice plump effect. And then on the outside, I'm gonna be using my Lime Crime Lip Blaze, and that's in the color Fern. It's more of a brown that you can see is kind of lining the outside of her lips. I'm gonna fill in the middle with Maybelline's Chai Genius to make it lighter. And on top of that, I'm using Lime Crime Plushies in Butterscotch. Okay, this is really difficult. I don't know how people color match for lips. Okay, whatever. I'm gonna put a clear gloss on top of that. This is just the one by Rimmel. And this is as good as we're getting for lips. I'm gonna work on that. I'm gonna work on color matching better. So this is the finished look. I tried my best and <laughs> I've learned a lot of things along the way, but here it is. This is me, Ari at the Grammys. I don't have a rock as big as hers because that looks like it's at least like 40 grand. But this is as close I am to having a big rock on my ear. But I'll just Photoshop some on for my picture. But this is it. This is me at my side angle. And I'm gonna go try and take a picture that's as close to her look as possible. So this is the finished look. So yeah, that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please subscribe to this channel. I also have links to all of my other social media in the description box down below, as well as links to all the products that I used. I'll also have my before and after picture on Instagram, so you should definitely check that out. If you guys have any other video recommendations or any other photos of her that you want me to recreate, definitely let me know in the description box down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I wish you all a happy, healthy life, and I will see you in the next video.